Uh, good evening, everyone. It's uh, 8.30, Tuesday night. I just started reading over my Google and got pissed off again. <laughs> what else to do? As usual, you got the usual posts from this political party, that political party, blah, 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 blah. Let's start off with a couple things. First off, these anthem protests. You know, I see everybody jumping on this bandwagon, how they're right, they're right, they're right. As far as I'm concerned, you ain't going to stand for the anthem. Why the hell are you here? You get paid to play a fucking game. You blow out your shoulder, pull a hamstring, something else, they replace you in minutes. You're a has-been. Now they're <clears throat> trotting out all these old basketball stars like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar who says, oh, the anthem is like a song the slaves used to chant when they were picking cotton or some shit like that. Screw them. You know, get so fucking sick and tired of these overpaid, privileged ass, stupid motherfuckers that want to put down this country just because they have the right to do so. They're pissing on everything that has allowed them to make the money they make. If they don't like it here, and this goes for the Hollywood people, the athletic people, the politicians that want to scream, bitch, moan, and complain while they're living in their mansions, the Bernie Sanders wannabes who... You know, well, like Bernie, he was a self-proclaimed socialist, but, he, man, he's living in a big damn house, ain't he? Never seems to be hurting for a dollar. So, here's the socialism, I guess. In other words, you get to rob the other people and say, well, that's what we get. We're all equal. But y'all keep wanting to piss on our flag, piss on our country, piss on our anthem and our ideals. Then get the fuck out. Take your, take your athletic ability to Africa, England, Australia, China, wherever you think you can make a dollar. See if you have the same rights. I'll bet you there ain't a single one of you swinging dicks will decide to leave. Because you got the gravy train here. You got the people suckered into paying tickets to put their butts in the seat. As for these Hollywood people, who, who made, what made them think that they know all and see all? You know, I don't agree with a lot of things in this world. I don't agree with somebody losing their career over something they said or did 20 years ago just because it offends some little snowflakes nowadays. Back then, it was normal. The unicorn lovers and snowflakes seem to think they can rewrite history to suit their own purposes. Keep pushing. Just keep fucking pushing. Because sooner or later, people like me are getting tired of being pushed. And all hell's going to break loose. And all your little fenced in gated communities and hiding behind a keyboard and saying this, that, and the other when you're in a crowd ain't going to do a damn bit of good. It's going to be like spitting in a hurricane. This country was made on a set of ideals. That all people are equal. Have we always lived up to that? No. Have we corrected a lot of the ills? Yes. You do not change history just to suit your own misguided purposes. If you think you're going to, you're going to end up dead in the streets. If these athletes are so concerned about police brutality and black lives and all that shit, where's their outrage about what happens in the inner cities? Where's their outrage at all the killings going on in Chicago, black on black crimes? They got all these billions of dollars. Did you hear a damn thing from any of them 
in the off season, where they were helping the inner city kids or doing anything to make a difference. But no, they get their butt on national TV, they're going to kneel and raise a fist like, all right, we're all united. Oh, fuck you and your damn ass. You know? Then you got all these tech companies that seem to think that they have the right to censor anybody that speaks against the socialism or the liberalism of all that gives you another way of thinking. Yeah, maybe they have. They own the, they own the platform. But remember, things tend to come around and bite you in the ass when you least expect it. Yes, I'm drinking a beer. No, I'm not drunk. My first beer after getting off work. Work. That's another thing snowflakes and unicorns don't understand. You know? They want all this, all this shit for free. They don't seem to understand that there's going to be a price tag attached to it. Any of these college idiots ever read the book 1984? Maybe they ought to. Have any of them ever talked to people that lived in the Soviet Union when they were heavy into communism? How about people from Venezuela, Cuba, or Chinese? Ask them how great communism is. My wife has a Chinese nurse that comes in and sees her twice, twice a week. And he is so fast, like today, he came in. He was fascinated because we had a full freezer and a refrigerator in our house. I had food in it. And I'm thinking, what a wing ding. My wife says he's like that every time. Everything fascinates him. He's only been here for a little while. But everything fascinates him. Well, I'm glad I could entertain him. The people that watch this, you need to think. Use the biggest computer you've got right there. Before you jump on the Bernie Sanders bandwagon, the Trump bandwagon, any of them, use your brain. Make a logical thought. Put down your PlayStations, your Xbox, your Twitter feed, your Tumblr feed, whatever it is. Research your facts. Research what you're told. You know, do some thinking before you jump in and making a decision. You know. It doesn't matter which way you go. There's going to be good and bad in any decision that you make. Just like with all the groups that are out there, there's good and there's bad mixed in. You choose your friends based on your gut feeling. You know, don't don't run along the same bridge as your friends unless you've checked the facts out of where they're going. Use some thinking. There's more than life than just checking a box. You know. They haven't made us all lemmings yet. Let's, quit, let's all quit trying to run off the same cliff. You know, it's... This country, you used to be able to have a conversation with people. I would voice my opinion, you would voice yours. Somewhere in the middle, we might agree, we might not. Doesn't mean we'd come to fisticuffs. You know, I've seen the left say they have the right to free speech, which they do, but so does the right. Your right to having free speech does not mean you get to limit my free speech. Now, I doubt if people even listen to this. I doubt if it'll make a difference. 
Maybe I'm pissing into the wind. But I like to think that maybe by some bloody ass fucking miracle, somebody out there is going to wake up and start thinking, is this a good decision for me to make today? Do I really want to go to that rally and be in problems? Or do I want to research what the party I'm being with really stands for? Do some thinking before you jump up and down about these news articles. Because you can do an experiment. You can watch seven different news articles in your local news on the television. And you'll hear the same story seven different ways, but the same wordings in there. It's how they're saying it. And when's the last time you ever heard a good story of the news? You know? News organizations got to do the best they can to try to promote the most viewers. If they can get more people outraged, they're going to do it. Case in point, there was a shooting by a blood, uh, by a white cop against a black man. It's everybody up in arms. Let's take that same thing. There's an officer involved shooting, one suspect down. That won't get people up in arms. Why do we have to throw race or gender into everything. Why? Because it sells newspapers. It buys ad space. It gets people watching the, the tube going, oh my god, what's going to happen? Ah! You know? Wake up. Just wake up. before it's too late. Let's see old redneck before I go. As usual, if you have a chance to help out a homeless vet, do so. If you have a chance to donate to a worthy homeless, uh, not homeless, but veterans organization, do so. Let's help them get back on their feet. They don't want a hand out, they want a hand up. They stood the wall for us so we can sleep at night. Some of them are still standing it. The ones that are still standing, may you come home hale and hearty. The ones that are here, may every man and woman on this, on this country, in this country, find it in their heart to help out, to help get you back up on your feet and being productive. That's the old redneck. If you want to leave a comment, leave one. If you want to send me an email, it's redneckrebel1956 at gmail.com. If you like it, you don't, let me know. I don't care either way, but let me know. I'll comment about it. Other than that, the old redneck. Tuesday night, we're out.